Hello everyone. Good morning. Bonjour Valerie. Hi Arya. How are you guys doing? You know me. I am Nidhi, your host, and today we are here for the circular and orbs uh, category tangle drawing. We have done lots of tangle drawings so far in our tangle marathon. We are working on a mixed media pad. If the size is nine by twelve, I'm good, Arishri. Thank you. This is the tangle marathon. Let me just move it a little bit up. And we did the blossom category in our first two sessions. So many. Then the wine category tangles. We are going to add more as we go. And this is the leaf tangle. Edge and terminals. And now these are the filler textures which we did in our last session. Ma'am, you conducted this session today. Because Sunday tomorrow is uh, the Karwa Chauth, like the festival for me. So I'm not taking any session tomorrow, Arya. Buenos dias, Claudia. Good morning. And this is the fillers and texture. And today we are doing circular. So last session I leave one paper and I drew on the back of it a little bit. So it's fine. Because the circular is also, you know, the fillers circular uh, mostly all of the circular or the orb tangles you can fit it in the filler texture also so is everybody ready shall we start so the first circular and the orb texture what comes in our mind is the tipple isn't it because whenever we are talking about the circle we are talking about the orb we are talking about the tipple so the tangle name is tipple and this is a zentangle original tangle and uh, you know orb is the shape orb is the shape that is the circle or the circle is the shape orb is the shape and tipple is the name of the tangle which consists of this shape in various ways it can be big or small that's why it has been used as a beautiful filler and there are lots of tangulations and lots of various other tangles which have been generated from this tipple tangle but they all use the orbs in that tangle like I use this tangle as the tipple tangle in one of my tile but I don't really know if anyone have deconstructed any tangle which has any different name like this but I don't know about it so I just put it into the tipple category. Hi Christina. Hello smart art. So now this is the tipple and it has various various variations. And the second tangle which oh, I'm supposed to write it into the capital but I don't know why I, I, I print amp is again the beautiful circular tangle. So like if you want you can use your pencil to draw the circle first like suppose if you want to fill in this circle you can just draw the beautiful spiral and fill that space and that's the print arm now if you want you can draw more So they, you can fit all of them into the filler tangle also beautifully. 
but they all are the circular too so that's why i kept it into the circular tangle and for me these both triangles are my two go tangle too so this is the tipple and the print amp tangles now the next tangle is zeppo and the zeppo tangle is deconstructed by ria m a t h e u s s e n z z t and how this tangle goes this is again a tangulation of the tipple tangle that you draw one circle and inner circle and in this inner circle you give this little shadow at one side and you decorate outside of your the zeppo it can again be little big small overlapping so again it's a beautiful filler tangle too this all noise you are hearing from my studio is all dog is running here and there so this is all zeppo tangle you can again draw a little bit more big but they all are kind of circularish and having the same style of drawing can give a little bit of shadow around to create the 3d effect whichever a zappo here please reply i'm so sorry i didn't see when is next 6 by 6 inch mandala so padmaja uh, I'll, i'll see i'm uh, see next week schedule i haven't seen yet because i'm still busy with my inktober tangle also this is the inktober one where i'm making adding one tangle every single day and i think today is this plea a tangle day and the tomorrow is the zingoli i'm just done till tomorrow so i'm working daily on this making this and i am making the video and uploading i haven't seen next week schedule i'll see next week because this is the little you know uh, the festive season is going on so like tomorrow is the festival so that's why i don't really want to stop this series because this is a series so that's why i'm continuing with that i hope you can understand now 
let's start the next angle again my 08 pen and the next angle is bulbs and the bulbs tangle is by lori l o r i b y e r l y c z t this is bulbs and that was the zappo here this was the print amp and tipple if you want to see all of them again in the tiny one so in the bulbs you just draw the circles and they are kind of overlapping they can be of different sizes again small big like this very random and organic and once you are done drawing the circles you just do the you know the corners little bit rounding at some places like this maybe you can fill the area sometime And give little rounding also so that is bulbs And then you can give a little shading into that. So this is bulbs and now the next angle is bubbles that is again the tangulation of the triple tangle bubbles tangle and the bubbles tangle has been deconstructed by susan M C N E I L L McNeil, and this is again a beautiful circular tangle again, like you draw one tipple or the orb or the circle, and you draw concentric circles. Mostly it goes into three, but you can draw as many as you want. And again, you can give these kind of the shading what you give in the Zappo. They can overlap. can be a little wider like this let me draw one more here so this is a beautiful filler texture also but I just made a separate category so that sometimes we really need the circular shape to fill that area or circular shape to draw uh, you know to give that uh, organic look or maybe the sometimes we balance with the straight lines curvy lines or some bit with the shapes so it's always a nice idea to keep all the circular shape kind of these 
uh, tangles together in our journal that is the whole purpose of keeping that or making that category separately so this category is based on the shape if you have seen my category uh, uh, that video i divided all the tangles based on four main aspects on the difficulty level on the shapes on their usability and what is the fourth on their style yes so this one is basically goes on the shape because they all are the circular okay so now let's move forward to the next tangle that is very interesting one and the name of that tangle is cruful c r u f f l e cruful and the cruful tangle has been deconstructed by sandy hunter and this tangle I really like this tangle this is beautiful you first draw the circle and then you draw this S curve in between and then you get kind of a two petals joining each other and then from the base of the petal you draw these inner aura lines like this look carefully like first the s curve and then these inner petals again they can be small they can be big and these curve can go in any direction it's not really important that they have to be straight vertical they can be slanted they can be horizontal like this and you fill these spaces let me draw one here also and to fill this space you can decorate it with little fescues if you feel like So this is cruful here is the cruful tangle after susan macnell m c oh yeah ajay thank you ajay ajay wrote it m c n e i l now the next is the vitruvius so the name is it goes like that v i t r u v i u s and it is a zentangle original tangle from the zentangle headquarters you draw the circle then you draw the square into the circle then you draw the circle again and this time you draw the square sideways like the diamond then you draw the circle again then this time you draw the square straight and you keep on drawing like that so you draw the circle then you draw the square again circle 
this time you draw the diamond then circle then square and it goes like this circle square again circle then diamond then circle then again square and circle and you fill the negative space or the leftover space you can start with the diamond also and then circle then square that is also absolutely fine so that is vitruvius again a beautiful circular tangle now let's talk about the next angle the next angle is beautiful, funny, and the name of that angle is W I N D, like the window, and the C L E, like the circle. So, windkill is the name of the angle, and it has been deconstructed by Lee Darter. And this is so beautiful, like you just draw the circles and the windows inside. So this is the circle, like whatever size of circle you are making. And you draw the window. So this window is kind of, you know, you can see me, right? Okay. The window is kind of little... Uh, curvy line rectangle this here I'm going to draw a little bigger it's a rectangle but with all little curvyish line roundish line and fill the corner and join the top so it's kind of the window in the circle and that's how the name shows window plus circle windkill. You can draw a little big. Like this and fill the leftover spaces again. This one is Windkill by Lee Darter. So basically whenever you are drawing the circle shape, there are various ways to, you know, to decorate inside that or to fill inside that circle. There are various ways. So we are kind of done with these many uh, angles so far here they all are very very simple but they all are very very useful also there is not really sometimes the circle only itself is so beautiful that you don't need to draw anything else you can just draw the lots of circles and that's the name is the tipple that's just the basic circle shape and you just fill different colors and that's it and you are done with your whole tile to draw the beautiful circles and arrange them and fill them beautifully here the big circles and you just fill them and give them a little bit more colors and the shadows so this is all again the circle in this tile I made lots of circles spreading around of different shapes and just give them little shadow to give this crater kind of look. In this one just the circles and their little highlights just to give them beads style. In this one all of these are these bubbles. 
and the tipple in the combination and the print amp again to give that circular line here because I want to give that contrast with the straight line and the circle line so that's how it goes lots of uh, these print amp as well as these bubbles in the background in the air so sometimes like if you see in this one there is no i don't know if there is any name i think that's the knight's bridge only but that has been filled in these circles and created that 3d illusion of the uh, globe because the lines have been drawn in the little curves so these are again the circular or the orb style of the drawing the same one you see here this is the circle but it has not been filled but created kind of the globe in the circle so that's all of drawing this is again one more circle tipple and the bulbs here and i would like to tell you like i would kind of admit it that when i uh, drew this style i was not aware that there is any tangle like that i just drew that circles and this is what came to my mind and i drew it and later on i came to know that the name of this is the bubbles the same as i still don't know if there is any name of this kind of tangle because when i did this i thought i am just drawing the tipple but later i came to know that this this is the bubbles so because they all are the tangulation of the circle tangle you can draw the circles and made them the beads turn them around the beads so that's not the tangle actually that's the technique and once we are done with all the tangle marathon all the categories maybe we can start the techniques so these are the techniques inside the circle where we are filling and shading them as if they are looking like the um, beads or the pearls here we are making the circles which are giving us like kind of the you know the uh, water droplet kind of thing again the same thing here these are the print arms again but when you put print arms like that then they are no more print arms they have become the tall to cut angle but uh, yes they are still the in the circular shape again the circle with the little lot of shadings inside here you see circles with different colors and just with the uh, technique so maybe and this one i showed it early last session also for the fillers and texture this is just with the tipple all our tipples in different style different uh, fillings different sizes so the tipple is the main tangle in this one And when we are talking about the, uh, you know, the technique, so in this one you can see all of these are the, just the circles, but they have been filled in a way that they are creating kind of the pearl look in this one. So they all are the circles and the orbs tangle, but sometimes you feel like drawing and sometimes you just want to give the, use the technique and to give them different look. Okay, Arya Shri, I don't know what are you asking for. Please tell ma'am, do you always draw circular tangles in a group only? No, no. Lot of time we draw the circles just as the one, one circle only. So, if you want, let me start with that only, okay? Like, in our next row, let's start the one tangle which is called Esther. And this aster tangle has been deconstructed by T E X A S D O X I E Mama M A M A C Z T. So this is the single one tangle which you were asking just now, uh, Arya. So. Kind of you first draw the circle 
you can put this tangle into the you know our first category into the blossom tangle also so this is the big circle you divide the circle into the half vertically and then you kind of draw the cross so we divided it into six equal parts you see oh I did mistake here because uh, I was supposed to draw the circle in the center here first and then drew these six lines so now because I drew this so that's how I can uh, little you know change it on my way that I fill the center circle here this is the center circle and then you draw these tiny leaves on each arm and then big leaf on each arm going all the way that's the fun drawing uh, live I don't know where am I am okay and then you see you remember that uh, tangle where we draw overlapping lines like this let's see if anyone remembers the name of this tangle that you bring one line from one side and another line from other side everyone's opportunity <laughs> I know I'm going to draw this again one more time so let me draw one more circle and then the tiny circle in the center and then you kind of divide it like this that's uh, how it has been suggested but you can fill the inside no worries and then tiny petals and the big petals and then you fill the leftover area with the overlapping lines thank you Sanjana yes between <laughs> okay autocorrect perfect Robert and Debra that is between then between in the corners I don't really want to tell that name I want to hear if anybody can tell me the name between these again between I love drawing between and kind of my two go tangle and in this one I can give a little shading here shading into the corner of this maybe we can give shading in between area here So this is the Astra Tangle as you asked Arya and now the Cycle and the same thing happened with me with the Cycle Tangle also I was not aware about the Cycle Tangle earlier that the name of that tangle is Cycle it has been deconstructed by Elena
L E B E D E V A Well, again let me just draw one circle and you draw the center circle this time no opportunity and you divide you draw you know you can draw divide this outer area in whatever number of spikes you want like curvy lines one two three four five when i first drew this tangle i thought i'm just drawing the variation of the well tangle but later on i came to know that the name of this tangle is the cycle that you draw the cycle spikes kind of but in the circular way and then you fill this area with these curvy lines This is a kind of a tangulation of the well tangle. You can draw as many spikes as you want. So this is the cycle tangle. And again, you can give shading. Whatever way you feel like. That is the cycle tangle. Yes, let me show you my tangle. Where is the tile? Do I have it here with me? If I have it here, I'll share it with you, my tangle. Oh, the tile is not with me right now here. Okay. When we'll do the ribbons or bands maybe, or maybe in the borders, then you are going to do that tangle with me. Okay, so the cycle and the, es uh, the ester. Now the le next is the genesis tangle. That is again, you know, the uh, zentangle original tangle. And you can put this tangle into the blossom tangle too. G-N-E-I-S-S. -S, a zentangle original tangle. Suppose this is our one big circle here where we are going to draw or to fill that area so suppose we find the center point little not in the center but in little up so this is the one and we can divide that into further more Maybe a little bit extra at some place like this. This is the first step. Then we join them with this V shape. Like this. That's the second. And then you join these dips. And then you fill one part of it. So what I'm doing, I'm just joining them and then I'll fill with the little, let me fill it with this only because the sections are small so let me not change the pen. That's how we keep joining from that point 
we keep filling one side oh I again I did one here I left both of them seems like my focus is a little bit This one what I can do I'm just leaving it because I leave here both of them like in this part that's fine I'm just using my pencil here to give and then we are going to use our little thin pen or the same pen and these little rounding line in the corners we should never worry about the opportunities we should consider them then our version of that tangle so that's absolutely fine. So this is the Genesis Tangle guys with some newer variation. <laughs> Here you go. This is the Genesis here. Cycle, Esther and Genesis and now the next is the flow king. Flow king has been deconstructed by Karen Clang Mayor M E I E R C Z T. This is general, this is basically one continuous line. So please look carefully like how it goes. It's something like this, looking. Let me bring it closer and remove all these. So first you draw the spiral. This. this is the first step to draw the spiral after that you draw the you continue it and you go in this different direction and you join it that's it and then you give little shading wherever you see these joints are and maybe you can give a little shading in some corners I'm going to do it one more time. If you want to see the steps again, how it goes. So, first you draw the spiral like this, and after that spiral, you start drawing in this different direction and you join the spiral that's it just to draw the line in the flow
Now let's draw one circular paradox. So where you draw the circle and then you keep drawing the paradox inside it like the slanted line and you keep filling with the continuous line until you reach to the center of the shape. This is the circular paradox. You can put Paradox is basically a high focused angle and Ardashri if you want to put the floking also into the high focused angle feel free to do that because one tangle can put into the various categories. You can put them into the high focused tangle, you can put them into the blossom tangle, you can put them into the filler tangles. So it's your choice how you want to use them and you can definitely put them into the you know little difficult tangles. Maybe you need a little bit more practice, till then you can keep them in that. So, yes, this is the paradox tangle. And I'm just doing little shading on the outside, that's it. So we are done with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 tangles so far. Which one is your favorite? Which one is your favorite so far in all these 13 tangles? Anyone is favorite? Till then, you can see here this one is the paradox tangle which we just drew. And we did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight times in this one. Kruffel, Zappo, awesome. So here you see the paradox tangle in this one I have used. And there is one more. I don't know where is that. And in this one, I used this tangle and I was not aware about that, that we can put that into the cycle tangle. I was thinking that I'm doing the well tangle here, but it's kind of the cycle tangle here I used in this uh, particular design. And here these are the paradox in the circle. Okay, so now let's start. Zappo, Kruffel, Genesis, okay, Aster so far, <laughs> Arashri, Tipple, Printam, Cycles, Bubbles and Aster, two good angles. Maybe I'll try Zendala. Yes, sure, Valerie, go for it. Now let's start our next section. And this is a beautiful tangle again, the single circle one, what Arashri asked for, the... S I R O S Cirrus tangle and that tangle has been deconstructed here is the brown pen deconstructed by Simon Manzel S I M O N E let me focus it a little closer Simon M E N C E L C Z T and let me grab my 05 pen. So suppose this is our circle where we are drawing this tangle. This is the one big circle, okay? I just did the rough draft here and inside this circle I want to start it with the 
with this pentagon. So this is the kind of the pentagon I drew inside the circle and I extended these pentagon line to the outside of the circle shape. That's the next step. Uh, I call paradox tangle a rose tangle because that create the rose kind of the style. You are absolutely right. You can say that. So are you guys done till here? So after this cirrus tangle, then we are going to draw the line which is going to go like this and it will not go all the way and like this. This is the next step and then draw these curvy lines on the top here this is the third step and then join these area with the little curvy line on the top. So that's the cirrus tangle. Inside you can fill them, fill the corner, give them rounding. Like this. And we can again, if we want, we can give more circle shape. It's your design how you want to fill inside of this. Oh, so this is the cirrus triangle. And you can give little shading. Hey Ajay, Ajay is also here in the studio. Hey everyone, I don't have the mic right now, but hope you can hear me. Christina is saying cycle seems kind of a paradox. Cycle seems kind of a paradox. Yeah, a little bit it looks like because we have those slanted uh, lines that create the same kind of like the look here. Okay, so now let's move forward for the next angle. 
this is again the beautiful tangle P I R Q U I T A L circuital then tangle original tangle and how it goes you draw the circle And then you draw these curvy lines kind of a waves inside going let me bring it eating a donut <laughs> okay <laughs> Ross is so beautiful nice seems like you are enjoying the Siros tangle cool use it and use it in various variations you see like here i filled inside like little differently and i use different colors in it so you can make your own variations own styles in that so now let's go back to this one and you keep on making these waves kind of you can draw four you can draw five and they are entangling with each other i'm just making the lines a little bit more bold You can fill this whole leftover area maybe like the way I filled in these two or maybe you can just give you your know, these kind of filling lines it's your choice how you want to work on your this negative area here just want to give some different decorations inside try drawing in different ways the tangle So you can use little different more styles and fillings in the same tangle here. Now let's draw where is that one here? Here is this. Now let's draw one tangle that is fast tune. That is again the Zen tangle original tangle. that you draw the circle you draw the center point and you join it with little curvy line little contour line to the corners and you make these tiny beads outside don't draw a straight line always draw a little contour line that will create some uh, you know, three days look. Mm. 
they can be of any size of any style and you can fill just leftover area whatever is in between that's the fashion here Again, you can do the shading in various ways. These are the festoons here. Yes, please. If you have not clicked on the thumb uh, on the thumbs up button, please click on the thumbs up button. And here, in this one, you see all these yellow. These all are the festoons, and all these blue. These all are the tipples around it. And these are again little tiny circles. Those are again the orbs or the tipples you can say in this one. So in fact, this is the pepper tangle here. So you can make them also into the circle tangle and you can make it into the absolute circular shape also in this one. And you can change little shape. Okay, let's talk about this one little quickly. So these all are the Diva Dance. And they all are into the circular shape. And here this is again the circle, the onamato, the making all these border. Let's do the quickly this diva dance here. So you can just create one diva dance into the circle. And the version of this diva dance is rock and roll. A Zen Tangle original tangle. And how it how you draw, you start drawing like the spiral, and you keep giving these little weight at some part of it that create beautiful pattern kind of a rose flower as you can see in this one and they all stays into the circular shape so that's why it fits very well into this category also but mostly you can put it into the blossom tangle because they are kind of blossoming beautifully beautiful rose flower look That's how you draw these beautiful rose flowers. So who is going to tell me what the other styles of the diva dance? So what are the different Yes, Annie's can also come into the circle. You are right. Walls and rock and roll. Perfect, Arya Shri. Oh, I dropped my tile. I'll pick it up later. So, this is Diva Dance. Now, let's do quickly the next tangle. That is the Cirque. C I R Q U E. Cirque tangle. And the circle tangle is deconstructed by C H R I S 
G E R S T N E R Gartner Cheris If you have drawn that uh let me show you quickly because i have used this triangle here huh? yes here you see all these circles and then the flux so this is a combination of the circle the same style the uh, contour lines and then flux around it with the big petal flux and the tiny petal flux in this one so the name of this triangle is the circle and here you see i just drew the circle and I made my own like little hash, these little uh, lines, the hatching lines and make this circle as a stone or maybe the marbleish look. And then the same little variation of the circle with some more flux. So that's the tangulation and that's how you can make the tangle on your own. So these are just the suggestions which every CZT gives you like you can draw the tangle like this way but feel free to add your own elements into it based on the design so here you made these contour lines and all contour lines are going towards the right hand side in the vertical and then this is the horizontal after that you just draw these flux petals around them and then tiny flux sprouting in between So this is the circ tangle. So I'll show you maybe just after we finish the session or maybe in the later. Okay, Arashri, because I have to look for that in my uh, other folder. Okay, so then now, now the next is the nipa tangle which i have used a lot as the filler also a zen tangle original tangle again so whatever area you have maybe the circular maybe the square maybe the rectangle here we are talking about the circle so just let's take a circle area and basically you fill that area with lots of different kind of circles and they are pretty far apart and then you fill that area with wavy line This is one of my very favorite tangles. I have used this tangle a lot in lots of my artwork. You can draw as many or as less circles of various shapes as you want and at some places if you feel like you can just draw the filled orbs just to give little value 
just to add little value or to add little contrast or to drama into your artwork. Maybe if you feel like you can add this little depth. In any of the circles. So this is the Nipa tangle. And I really want to share you quickly about the Nipa tangle. Where it is. So in this one I use the Nipa tangle you see like so big circles here into this is the very open one and very easy version of the nipa tangle and here again i change the circles into the flowers in this one so that's my style of drawing the nipa tangle in a different way that's how you can use any tangle and change the style that's what i always say so this is the nipa tangle but with the flowers instead of the circles here is the nipa tangle you can see in the corner but all the circles are kind of filled because I wanted to create the drama and want to create balance with these tangles. So I filled all of these circles here in this one, the Nipa tangle. That's it about the Nipa tangle. Okay. And here I want to show you one more here. So this is again one Nipa tangle and all different variations and styles you can see in this one. So these all are the various styles of the nipa tangle you have seen how i have used just the one tangle but in the different variations okay let's move forward quickly to the next one that is b o u c l e and this tangle has been deconstructed by Shirley Mood C H E R R Y L M O O T E C Z T. And how this tangle goes, you draw the circle. And then you draw this wave kind of pattern like this and you fill this hole that's how it goes and actually it goes into the chain style or you can draw them into whatever flowy direction you want to draw again into the circular chain style and I use this tangle very beautifully in one of the this artwork like here you see the between in this one and this is the same tangle here in all these four patterns I don't know how to pronounce it perfectly, vocally and whatever the spellings are, B-O-U-C-L-E. Oh, it means loop. Awesome. Thank you, Valerie. So, yeah, that's it. And now let's go quickly for two more tangles at least. Actually, I have many more, but let's see how many we can draw here. So the jetties, we have drawn the jetties a lot. G, 
E T T I E S the Zen Tangle original tangle. You draw the circle. As many circles as you want of whatever size you want. Tiny, big, small. And then you fill the leftover spaces. And generally you use little thinner tip pen. Let me just use this red pen. And then you draw these double parallel lines inside. They can go in any direction. It's not really important that all should go into the one direction. And there can be just one set of line also. Inside this, it's your choice how you want to decorate them. You can just make your style of filling in between these two lines. And then you can do the shading. Especially jetties goes very well if you are drawing something Christmassy uh, style card or any festival, any decoration way. So then you can use this jetties a lot. It goes very well. I used this one here. If you see in this, in this filling in these yellow and pink here, here is this black and white to fill that area. This one is the Nipa tangle again. Here is a very tiny Nipa. And jetties I have used here over these lines to fill at some places just the one one jetty. So it goes beautifully uh, to give that organic texture to the circular one. And the next tangle is really goes very well with jetties. That's why I'm just putting both of them together. That is C U L A Z. And that tangle is deconstructed by C H E R Y L L E E S H A L E Y. CZT and this tangle is kind of tangulation of the jetties that you draw the circles first however how many tangle how many circles you want big small and you fill those leftover spaces and then you choose your color let me choose this blue here and then you draw your these decorations inside with the zigzag line. So mostly you always draw the zigzag in this tangle. Your decoration goes like this. And then it's your choice how you want to decorate it. Like you can just fill this whole half with the black color or with your own favorite color like this. Or maybe you can just fill them with 
planted hatching lines. you can draw so there are various decoration how you want to decor inside but generally it goes with the zigzag line and then one cutting center line in the center so it's kind of the variation of this jetty's tangle so now a 10 seconds break and in that break I would really like all of you to look at all these tangles and tell me which one is your favorite tangle we are going to do two or three more tangles and then we are kind of done with that category so few more tangles left 10 seconds break please quickly tell me which one is your favorite so far until then I'm just counting how many tangles we are done with So uh, Aryashri, you know, between tangle is such a beautiful tangle. You can fit that tangle into the filler tangle. You can fit that into the leaf. You can fit them into the band or the ribbon or in the border tangle. So, you know, that shape can, that style can fit in various categories basically. So if you want, please check that my video of the tangle categories. So Valerie likes Nipa Paradox. Paradox, your best one. Siros. Okay, Siros. Robert Akeli Siros. I feel I feel roundish. <laughs> because all round. Today is all circle. We are we are going round and round in every single shape. So that's the main purpose of making this category. That all except 8th, 12th, 20th. Oh my god, I don't put the number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8th. You don't write. You don't like eight, okay? Nine, ten. Oh, this is such a beautiful tangle. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I don't know which one is twenty. You are going like that, or you are going straight. It's okay. Cirque and Esther, Esther and Cirque. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. So it looks nice when you give your feedback. So because it makes me feel like how you guys are. Uh, liking these tangles and then now you can use yes there is also aruba yes aruba tangle looks very beautiful so that's why we always leave the page empty on the back and this one i actually draw as the filler and the texture tangle and i'm going to write down my re rest of the circular tangle in this one here because those are the also the filler tangles but let me write down with my pencil here circular orbs so let's start the next tangle in the circles so that is the says tangle so this is a beautiful filler or texture tangle also the says tangle the Zentangle original tangle you draw the circle let me bring it closer here you draw the circle and you draw concentric circles you can draw little big little small Generally, it goes with the three, but you can draw four, five, as you, as many as you want. And then you combine and make them one like this. It can be two, 
circles only and you can combine them it can be just one with lots of circles so it depends how big or small you are doing and then you can just make them one by giving the aura line so that is the sestangle by the zentangle original and it's a beautiful filler when you fill the whole area like that it looks beautiful all the circles and circles this is a zentangle original tangle and uh, let's do the next tangle that is the widget widgets tangle by Kate A H R E N S C Z T Kate Arens. You draw the circle, draw the inner circle, you kind of fill the half circle day and night like this, and then you decorate it outside in various ways it's your style it has been suggested that you can use the lines and the dots or lines and the circles can be a little bigger and sometimes you can get little variations inside and just the spikes on the corner maybe these spikes are little point here so there are various ways you can create this widget tangle and you can fill the area now let's draw the next tangle that is the vertical tangle the zentangle original tangle So you draw the circle first in which area you want to fill this and you divide that area into equal parts. Here I divided it into 8 equal parts and we just draw the line wavyish and fill this each area that's it continuous line and your line is getting bigger as the shape is getting bigger Keep rotating your paper so that you get the perfect angle to fill that particular pipe. And that's how You fill this complete pattern how is it isn't it a little different but very pretty 
so that's vertical triangle and you can give shading the way you want That's the vertical triangle. Now let's do the mystery eggs. Mystery eggs is deconstructed by T R. I C I A L O N G E Z T Tricia Long C Z T and as you can see it's so cool that first you draw a little ovalish shape and you leave the highlighted area and you fill that and then the double line here and then the double line here. You can draw a little oval, a little round. And they can definitely go in any direction. You can give a little bit of these stipplings into these corners just to create the texture more. They can be separated with each other, they can stay together, they can go any direction. That is the mystery egg and let's do one more that is centipede let's do here this is again from the Zentangle ink there are various variations but the main is that you draw the circle first and then you keep on drawing these circular -ish shape which is continuous to that circle and you draw the aura line and make it one so it looks like kind of the centipede as the name tells and inside you can just draw these little finishings whatever you want to give like that that's just the one style the other style this one is really very simple that you keep on drawing the circles they are kind of joining with each other they can go in various directions up and down and inside them you draw these kind of oval shape and you fill the top half of of them and then you draw the aura line So you can put this into the like, you know, this is a nature inspired kind of the tangle. So these are the centipedes. You can make them big circles and then keep them small, big circles, keep them small. And there are various variations which you can use in all these tangles. 
you can create your own style also so let's quickly count how many tangles we did so far that's our today's tangle marathon and please feel free to draw as many circular tangles as you can in this category which it looks like corona oh <laughs> yes you are right when you use that one in mandala which one uh, valerie you are saying which which i used in mandala in mandala i used the nipa with the flower is the is that the one in the mandala i use this one here in one of the mandala in this mandala i used the paradox in this mandala i use the cycle and in this one i use nipa in this one these are just the circles just the triple triple as the pillar and there should be one more mandala this one here i use the fastunes in the circle and here just the like they are kind of the oval but i turn them into the little uh, you know that stone style and i don't know where did that go i think I, it's okay so these are the one vertical okay i use that line but in a little different style yes the vertical one so how many we drew? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 27. Awesome. We drew total 27 tangles. And for me, they all, I really enjoy drawing them a lot. But so far, I have used tipple in various ways. As you can see in my lot of artworks, I have used this. Uh, diva dance a lot in my artwork nipa jetties festoons so i have used most of them and if i have not used anyone i will definitely try to put them in my future artworks and try to use them and same i would like all of you to do that so now we'll see each other next week if you have any questions, if you want to write down anything, I'm here for a few more uh, minutes. So, so I'm looking at the chat. We are done for today. I want to say thank you to all of you who joined me today. And if you are using any other tangles, any other cir circular tangles, please draw them. And yes, Valerie, please draw all those tangles like this Aruba, Soluna and various other. There are lots of other circular tangles. Please draw them and share that. Share the, your picture of those tangles at the Facebook page in the post where I'm making the post of these. Yes, yes, uh, Arashri, you can transform any other tangle that's called the tangulation that you use your own style and add your own way to draw along with that. So time to say goodbye. Bye bye everyone. Now we'll see each other next week. There is no class tomorrow. It's a festival time. Bye bye.